Today is the 1st of July, it's 2022, and we're in Portals and House. Uh, we've just been watching the, the boats, so we've been sitting on the headland just in front of the church. It's a really great place to sit, there was a nice cool breeze and uh, lots of boats out there on the sea. The rich and famous are here and they're celebrating in style in their mega yachts. We're just going to walk up into the village, we're going to have a little coffee and uh, maybe a little bit of a walk around. Oh, Anita's just correcting me now. She says, coffee? Coffee? What do you mean beer? Vino? What time is it there? Is the sun over the yard on? Ten to six. Ten to six, my goodness. <laughs> well and truly. So yeah, we've just been to the, the church and uh, it's a nice little church. Uh, it's very, a very little church, but uh, if you like those sorts of things, it's stuck on the headland, so it's in a wonderful position. And we're just walking up now towards the village and uh, it's just a tremendous amount of work going on. It's unbelievable. It's I can't. Like this last time we came. It's been like this for weeks and weeks, months even. And uh, always like doing something quite major. Well, it looks quite major. A lot of big rocks there. And this road is that goes down to the, the smaller beach of Portals now. They've. Uh, well, they rebuilt the wall, that's what they've done. And uh, put in stone. That actually looks quite good on both sides, but uh, still just seems to be a lot of finishing off. It's uh, July, so school's out. And as we walk past the uh, King Richard School, this is one of the schools that's changed its name several times over the years since we've been here so a seagull up there. Yeah. some of you may know it as ASM American School of Mallorca others as AIS the American International School obviously though it was both American schools then same building same school um, but it's now and has been for quite a while King Richard and wow just look at the colour here it's uh, hanging down quite low, so I'm going to walk around it. That's the Morgan Villa, and that's uh, really colourful. It's actually when we first came to the island, there were only a handful of international schools. So the school we came to teach at was BIS, that changed its name to BIC. And uh, the oldest school on the island is Belvere, which is the one I now teach at, because it's the best one of course. Um, <coughs> then there's uh, the American school, which was now King Richard, and uh, the academy. But as time's gone on, um, schools seem to have sprouted all over the island. Um, here in Portals there is another international school called Agora, which is sort of a Spanish international school. They have a system where they teach in multiple languages. Um, on the no north of the island there's a school called My School. On the East Coast, there's one called Tudor Rose. I mentioned the Academy, an offshoot of the Academy is the Rafa Nadal School. So Rafa Nadal, the tennis player, has opened his own Academy and uh, basically the idea is to train your new tennis players but uh, they obviously need to be taught other subjects as well. So. We have a school. Sixth form. Pardon? Sixth form as well. Sixth form. Oh, well, there's a sixth form college uh, in the middle of Palmer, Palmer College. And then I came across a, a German international school. They never seem to have been very successful, but there is now one in Marachi. French. The French school has always been here, the Swedish school has been here. So, uh, for children, plenty to choose from. And here we are now in the centre of Portals Nows. I was having a 
and conversation, written conversations. Why do, why do expats like portals out? And it's really difficult to pinpoint. I mean, we're the expats and we like portals now. Um, and we lived here for 13, no, more than 13, maybe 16 years we lived here. And uh, it's sort of grown up uh, around us. A lot of these things, buildings were not here when we first came. So we've watched it grow and as many, many expats have. And it's not just British. There's lots of other nationalities as well. Some things have changed, but some things have remained the same, and there's been that continuity that's uh, helped give it its character. One of the things that does make the village a little bit special is the supermarket. Early on, after we moved here, it changed hands and the family bought it. And Sidon is a great little supermarket. But if you, everything you want, fair prices. Um, got a brilliant selection of wines there. And so, uh, come Christmas time, we'll come here and uh, that's where we'll buy our wine. And we've got some pictures on the outside just to show you. Great meat counter. Uh, so it's where we come to buy some of the meat, certainly around Christmas time, we'll go and get our turkey. Bags, a plethora of bags, which have changed over the years. So over there we've got Banker Mark, which used to be over there. And there we've got La Caixa, Caixa Bank, which also used to be over there. So the banks have moved around. Um, uh, at one point there were about four or five different banks in the village. I'm not sure how many there are now. So there may only be two. And it had all the facilities. So um, doctors and dentists were here when we first came. They've all changed now, of course. And the square in front of us is where we would have our San Antonio bonfires and that was really quite exciting They'd build a bonfire in the middle of that that square I'm not sure you could do it now with the trees around uh, and it used to get so hot the bus stop across the road all the windows Do you have a drink over there? Red Bull. So, suggesting we get... Sorry? See more that's going on? Yeah That one, that one. It's all right. Well, we end, we, we've succumbed. There's no coffee around. It's uh, nice, cool drinks. Friday evening. Cheers. Oh. I've just had my teeth cleaned at the dentist, so it tastes a little bit different. <laughs> <laughs> need to drink more then. <laughs> well, that was a nice cool drink. And, uh, I need to be complimented again on her parasol. I think we should market these parasols, darling. Definitely. <laughs> Find an importer. Never see anybody with them, do you? No. So, yeah, just completing the story. Across the road, we've got this white building here, which has got shops, offices, bars, restaurants. Did have a bank, did have a couple of banks, actually and the big car park at the back and uh, that used to be Paco's restaurant before that it was what was it before Paco's? Molino? Yeah, it was Molino's yeah. 
walked hot. And uh, we used to live in the house just to our left. I lived there the big for, tree wasn't there. I lived this there for many years. wasn't there. Oh, look at these grapes. They've actually changed a lot since we lived there. It's quite a convenient place to live because uh, if you just go down that road you'll end up on the beach. Uh, 100 metres, 200 metres. We're going to go down this side and this is behind the supermarket and there is a car park so if you're going by car you've got the car park of, of Sidon. Normally when we come we're going to the supermarket we can actually park in this car park. And there is a blue line here, but you don't have to pay and display. Blue lines normally mean you pay and display, but this is a part of the supermarket. Just cross over into the shade. done a video earlier on about uh, refuse collection and that's done by Calvia 2000 here in Portals now it's part of the Calvia and that's what we've got in front of us collecting some sort of noisy rubbish It's quite amazing in front. Oh, lovely breeze. You took a walk under it, I don't think I can. <laughs> well done, dear. here we are back at the church just where we started you change sides oh, where are you going thank you very much for watching oh we're gonna get one over
and we look forward to seeing you in the next video.